All right, lastly, I think yesterday, did we mention, I don't know if we mentioned this, yesterday, Senate Democrats sent a letter, it was two days ago, two or three days ago, sent uh, uh, Mitch McConnell a letter offering to work with the Republicans on bipartisan tax reform, but only if it does not cut taxes for the wealthy, add to the federal deficit, or allow Republicans to enact legislation on their own. In other words, down reconciliation. So what's the point? So, well, the, the offer was an offer that the Republicans, of course, were going to reject. The problem is that it was only signed by 45 Democratic lawmakers. And those Democrats who did not sign it were, I think it was Joe Donnelly from Indiana, Joe Manchin from, uh, from West Virginia, and Heidi Heitkamp of North Dakota. Thanks, Good job, Matt. Matt. And I want you to listen to Mitch McConnell today or yesterday admitting that health care, saying a couple of things. One, they're going to pass this, right? Through uh, they're talking about tax reform, saying there is no stomach amongst the Republican caucus to getting rid of the filibuster, saying the problem was Republicans when it came to health care. And then I think at the end here, he has an allusion to maybe how they're going to do tax so called reform. <laughs> series of tweets from the president about the procedure. We talked about reconciliation. We talked about lowering the threshold here. You have been adamant in that before, but that you don't think that there's the wherewithal on both sides of the aisle to lower the, the bar for legislative filibusters. What did you make of the president kind of directing floor traffic from 1600 Pennsylvania uh, this weekend when he was saying, you ought to do things this way, you ought to do things this way, and changing the Senate rules? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious that our problem with health care was not the Democrats. Um, we, we didn't have 50 Republicans. Uh, there, there are not the votes in the Senate, as I've said repeatedly to the president and to all of you, uh, to, to change the rules of the Senate. Um, they're not enough. It would require uh, 50 or 51 Republicans to agree to do that. The votes are simply not there. But the good news is, the top two priorities of the president don't require anything more than a simple majority, tax reform and health care. And there's an opportunity. We're, we're continuing to score some of the options on health care that uh, Senator Portman, Senator Cruz, uh, Senator Graham, Senator Cassidy wanted to take a look at. The reconciliation vehicle for health care has not yet expired, so there's still an opportunity to do that. So um, I think I just told you what I've told the president on several occasions. But is that going on? And I think where where was it he said um, McConnell also I think went on to say there or in other place that he anticipates they may have some Democrats when it comes to getting tax reform passed. And in fact, uh, here it is. Kentucky Republican Mitch McConnell cited Tuesday a letter from 45 Democratic senators urging Republicans not to use reconciliation and vowing to oppose a tax plan that adds to the deficit or cuts the annual bill of the richest 1% ta uh, taxpayers. He said, I don't think this is going to be 1986 when you had bipartisan effort to scrub the code. I remember it well. I was drinking heavily and uh, bringing Congressman Donnelly from Quincy, Massachusetts, his... Uh, case of Bush beer and Merritt cigarettes that he used to indulge in every day. <laughs> he goes on to say, Democratic senators who did not sign the letter may be open to pro-growth pro tax reform. And that, of course, is um, a euphemism for trickle-down economics, which, of course, is a euphemism for cutting taxes uh, for the rich and screwing everyone else. So he used the um, double arm's length euphemism. But that letter is indicative of the problem that they might have with tax cuts in terms of the Democrats. Uh, you were able to hold the caucus for health care. I don't know if that's going to happen when it comes to tax cuts. But 
Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.